A fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But here in our little village of Anatevka, you might say every one of us is a fiddler on the roof. Trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I can tell you in a word. Tradition. <laughs> tradition, 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 tradition. Because of our traditions, we've kept our balance for many, many years. Here in Anatevka, we have traditions for everything. How to eat, how to sleep, how to wear clothes. For instance, we always keep our heads covered, and we always wear a little prayer shawl. This shows our constant devotion to God. You may ask, how did this tradition start? I'll tell you. I don't know. <laughs> But it's a tradition. Because of our traditions, everyone here knows who they are and what God expects them to do. A moonlit light must scramble for a living. Feed a wife and children, say his daily prayers. And who has the right as master of the house to have the final word at home? The papa! Beloved Rabbi, 
Rabbi, may I ask you a question? Certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar? Of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us. <laughs> in our village, they have a much bigger circle. His Honor, the constable, His Honor, the priest, and His Honor, well, many others. We don't bother them, and so far, they don't bother us. Oh, and amongst ourselves, we get along perfectly well. Well, there was the time that he sold him a horse and uh, he delivered a mule. But that's all settled now. Now we live in simple peace and harmony, huh? <laughs> As a figure on the roof, huh? complaining. After all, with your help, I'm starving to death. I know you created many, many poor people. And I realize, of course, it is no shame to be poor, but uh, it's no great honor either. So what would have been so terrible if I were to have a, a small fortune, huh? If I were a rich man, diddle 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 diggy diggy diddle diddle dum. All day long I did it really well. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Diddle, 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 diggy, diggy, diddle, diddle, dum. If I were a pity, pity rich, idle, diddle, 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 man, I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen. Right in the middle of the town A fine tin roof with real wooden floors below And there'd be one long staircase just going up And one even longer coming down And one more leading nowhere just for show If I were the rich man all day long I pity, pity, bum. If I were a wealthy man, hey, I wouldn't have to work hard. I don't need to, I don't think it's a good thing to Lord, who made the lion and the lamb? You decreed I should be what I am. 
wouldn't spoil some vast eternal plan if I were a wealthy man. Hey! <laughs> there he is. You oh. forgot my order for the Sabbath. Reb Murcha, I had a little accident with my horse. Nah. Uh, Tavia, you didn't bring the rabbi's order. I know, Red Mendel, I know. Tavia, you forgot my order for the Sabbath. This is bigger news than the plague in Odessa, huh? Talking about news. Terrible news in the outside world. Terrible. What is it? What does it say? In a village called Rajanka, all the Jews were evicted, forced to leave their homes. For what reason? Uh, it doesn't say. Maybe the Tsar wanted their land. Maybe a plague. May the Tsar have his own personal plague. Amen. Why don't you ever bring us some good news? I only read it. It was an edict from the authorities. May the authorities start itching in places that they can't reach. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Why do you curse them? What good does your cursing do? You stand around and you curse and you chatter and you don't do anything. You'll all curse your way into the grave. Excuse me, you're not from this village. No. And where are you from? Kiev. I was a student at the university there. Aha, the university. Is that where you learn to criticize your elders? That is where I learned that there is more to life than talk. You should know what's going on in the outside world. Why should I break my head about the outside world? Let them break their own heads. He's right. As the good book says, when you spit in the air, it will land in your face. <laughs> That's nonsense. You can't close your eyes to what's happening in the world. He's right. He's right. And he's right. How can they both be right? You know, you're also right. <laughs> he's right. He's the wet behind the ears. Good <laughs> Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Ah, Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. shalom. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Remorka. Yes, Laser Wolf. Please bring me a bottle of your best brandy and two glasses. Oh, your best brandy, Reb Laser. What's the occasion? Are we having a party? There might be a party. Oh. There may even be a wedding. A wedding? How wonderful. And I'd be glad to make the wedding merry, lead the dancing and so forth for a small fee, of course. Mm, of course, a wedding would be no wedding without you and your feet. <laughs> Good evening. Innkeeper. Good evening. We would like a drink. Sit down, Fiedka. Vodka, schnapps? Vodka. Vodka. Yes, right away. Good evening. Good evening, Tevya. Ah, Rabbi. Good evening. Good evening. What are you doing here so early? He wants to buy my new milk cow. <laughs> Good evening, Reb Laser. Ah, Tevya, sit down, have a drink. I won't insult you by saying no. <laughs> How goes it with you, Tevya? How should it go? You're right. And you? The same. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so how's your brother-in-law in America doing? I, I believe he's doing very well. He wrote to you? Not lately. And how do you know? If he was doing poorly, he would write. May I? <laughs> Tevya, I suppose you know why I wanted to see you. Yes, I do, Red Laser. And there's no use talking about it. Why not? Why, yes. Why should I get rid of her? You have a few more without her. Oh, I see. Today you want one. Tomorrow you may want two. Two? What would I do with two? The same as you do with one. <laughs> Tavia, this is very important to me. Why is it so important to you? Frankly? Because I'm lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> lonesome? What are you talking about? You don't know. We're talking about my new milk cow, the one you want to buy from me. A milk cow? So I won't be lonesome? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I'm talking about your daughter. Your daughter Zaito. My daughter Zaito? Of course, your daughter Zaito. I see her in my butcher shop every Thursday. She's made a good impression on me. I like her. 
And as you know for myself, Tevya, I'm pretty well off. I have my own house, a good store, a servant. Look, Tevya, why do we have to try to impress each other? Let's shake hands and call it a match. And you won't need a dowry for her? And maybe you'll find something in your own purse, too. Shame on you. Shame! What do you mean, my purse? My title is not the sort I would sell for money. Uh, all right, as you say, we won't talk about money. The main thing is, let's get it done with. I will be good to her, Tevye. I like her. What do you think? What do I think? What do I think? I never liked him. Why should I? Oh, you can have a fine conversation if you want to talk about kidneys and livers. On the other hand, not everyone has to be a scholar. If you're wealthy enough, no one will call you stupid. And with a butcher, my daughter would surely never know hunger. Uh, but he has a problem. He's much older than her. Well, that's her problem. <laughs> but she's younger. That's his problem. I always thought of him as a butcher, but I misjudged him. He's a good man. He likes her. He will try to make her happy. What do I think? It's a match. You agree? I agree. Oh, Tavia, <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> Let's drink on it. Why not? To you, my friend. Oh, huh? To you, my friend. <laughs> to the both of us. <laughs> to our agreement. To our agreement to our prosperity, to our good health and happiness, and most important, to life, to life, the chayim. The chayim, the chayim, to life. Here's to the father I try to be. Here's to my bride to be. Drink the chayim, to life, to life, the chayim. The chayim, the chayim, to life. Life has a way of confusing us, blessing and bruising us. Drink the lion to life. God would let us to be joyful, even when our hearts lie panting on the floor. How much more can we be joyful when there's really something to be joyful for? To life, to life, the lion. To cycle my daughter, my wife. Gives you something to think about, something to drink about. Drink the time to life. And what a job! Yes, I believe for everybody. Hey, what a patient! I'm taking myself to life. What is all this cycle?
What words of wisdom can I give them? How can I help to ease their way?
title. Guess who I just saw? Your sister, Chava. And she was with that Fietka, and it's not the first time I've seen them together. You saw Chava with Fietka? Would I make it up? Oh, and title. I happened to be at the post office, and the postman said there was a letter there for your sister, Hoddle. Wonderful. I'll go get it. Oh, I've got it right here. <laughs> <clears throat> It's from her intended purchase. She'll be so excited she's been waiting. <sighs> but it's open. It happened to be that way. Oh, Ripka, I have such news for you. Remember Perchik, that crazy student? Remember at the wedding when Saito married Mom? Ugh, and Perchik started dancing Ooh, with Tempia's daughter, Model. Well. I just heard that Perchik's been arrested in Kiev! No. Yes! <laughs> oh, Shingo! Wait till I tell you! Remember Perchik, that crazy student? Remember at the wedding? He danced with Tevye's Hoddle. Well, I just heard that Hoddle's been arrested in Kiev! No! And gold has gone to Kiev. No! God forbid! She did! She did! Listen, everybody, terrible news! Terrible! Remember Perchik, who started all the trouble? Well, I just heard from someone who should know. That gold has been arrested, Why? and Hoddle's gone to Kiev, Mottle's studies dancing, Why? and Tevye's acting strange, no. Sprinter has the measles, no. Bialke has the mumps. No. <laughs> and that's what comes from men and women dancing. <laughs> Golda, he's wrapped heavy at home. Uh, yes, but he is inside. Why is there some trouble? Go call your father. Oh, go, go, go tell your parents. I'll talk to them. <laughs> what is this? Why are you all gathered around like a bunch of goats? Reb Tevya, have you seen the constable today? No, why? There are some rumors in town. We thought because you knew him so well. Maybe he told you what is true and what is not. What rumors? Someone from Zoladin told me that there is an edict issued in Petrograd that all the Jews were going to have... Welcome, Your Honor. What is the good news in the world? I see you have company. They are my friends. It's just as well. What I have to say is for there is also. Tevya, how much time do you need to sell your house and all your household goods? Why should I sell my house? Is it in anybody's way? I have come here to tell you you're going to have to leave on a Tevka. And how did I come to deserve such an honor? Not just you, of course, but all of you. I thought at first you might be spared, Tevya, because of your daughter Chava. My daughter is dead. I understand. But at any rate, this affects all of you. You have to leave. But this corner of the world has always been our home. Why should we leave? I don't know why. There's trouble in the world. Troublemakers. Like us? You aren't the only ones. Your people must leave all the villages, the Lodgin, Robilevka. The whole district must be emptied. I have an order here. It says you must sell your homes and be out of here in three days. <laughs> and you, you who have lived here all your life, you would carry out this order? I have nothing to do with it. 
Don't you understand? We understand. And what if we refuse to go? You will be forced out. We will defend ourselves. Fight! Fight! Against our army. I wouldn't advise it. I have some advice for you. Get off my land. This is still my home. My land. Get off my land. You have three days. After a lifetime, a piece of paper and get thee out. We should get together with the people of Zaldin. Maybe, maybe they have a plan. We should yes. defend ourselves. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Yes. Very good. Then the whole world will be blind and toothless. Huh? Rabbi, we've been waiting for the Messiah all our lives. Wouldn't this be a good time for him to come? We'll have to wait someplace else. Meanwhile, let's start packing. He's right. I'll see you before I go. Three days! I have more than a hundred bottles of vodka. What will they do with them? Where are we supposed to go? Well, now that Petka hasn't been exactly the Garden of Eden. That's true. After all, what have we got here? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A pot, a pan, a broom, a hat. Someone should have set a match to this place long ago, huh? A bench, a tree. So what's a stove? Or a house. People who passed around the Tevka don't even know they've been here. A piece of cloth. What do we need? Nothing much. Only a mateka. On a teka, on a teka, underfed, overworked. On a teka. out of many, many places at a moment's notice. Maybe that's why we always wear our hats. Huh? Come. Children, let's go. Mm -hmm. 